Hey there folks, welcome back. This is Archangel88201 on the Diggler's Place server, popping in for a new tutorial. As you can see behind me, you see my automatic kelp farm. What we're going to discuss today is uh, how I built this and implemented this situation. Well, I'm going to show you how, how this works, and I'm going to show you how to build the flying machine and the concept behind it, and all of the other inner workings of this farm. So without further ado, let's just hop into that tutorial now. Okay folks, here we are in my redstone test world. Um, this is where I like to pop in and test out ideas that are floating around in my head. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice little quiet spot here on this world and I'm going to show you how to build this. So give me just a second to find a spot and we'll jump right into it. Alright folks, for this particular build this is what you're going to need. You're going to need 62 immovable blocks. I'm going to be using obsidian since one it's easy to come by because by this point you've probably been to the end already and, and have killed the dragon. So this is a pretty easy resource to get. 62 obsidian. You're going to need 156 pieces of glass. I use glass. You can use any block you wish. And then a stack of any kind of throwaway block. I always end up using white uh, terracotta just for show. Um, you And then for the flying machine and all of the inner workings, you are going to need 10 blocks of slime, 4 observers, 2 sticky pistons, I repeat, 2 sticky pistons, 2 trap doors, two repeaters, two redstone dust, one redstone torch, and one button. So here we go with the build. I typically end up starting with one side and uh, and I start with the uh, the flying machine. So let's go ahead and start with that, that first. A flying machine uh, can only be eight blocks long so that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna start one two three four five six seven eight uh, and it's gonna be actually seven blocks long and I'm gonna end it with a piece of glass so it doesn't interfere with anything else one two three four five six seven alright so this is gonna be the dimensions of it and you're gonna need to top that with more immovable because remember immovable means that it can't be grabbed by that slime block alright now here on the end you can put whatever you like over here uh, I, I just use the obsidian just for you know show purposes and then of course build up with your glass now right here at the end I always end up putting the slime nope we're gonna do the sticky piston on this side here, slime block, sticky piston, slime block. Okay, now that's uh, the major portion of our of our flying machine. So what we need to do is go up here on top and then put a temporary block over each one of these slime blocks. Then we're going to come back down, break those slime blocks so that we can put in our observers. We're going to point up and place so that the redstone comes down into the slime block. Now remember not to break this, either of those yet, okay? Because once you do that, then the machine's going to, going to break. <laughs> or you can uh, put an immovable right in front of it to keep it from going anywhere. Uh, in this case, instead of using obsidian or something like that, you can put an immovable block. Um, so like a, a furnace or something right in front of those, okay, so that they don't go anywhere. Oh, goodness gracious. I did it. All right, so... Oh, goodness. Let's do this. Alright, now you can break those away. 
and that'll be good to go. Now, I want to build this farm only so so long, so we're only going to build this out 13 blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. You don't have to put any obsidian over here on this side because it, it can be completely glass because of that glass piece on the end. That's going to keep it from interfering, or the uh, slime blocks from interfering with that end, so nothing's going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So down here at the end, you are obviously going to be placing in a whole set of immovables. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then you're going to put in your glass. forget to put in your glass down on the bottom and on top. Well, obviously you're not going to forget the top part, but now I'm just building it quick. You're going to use up all your glass, but I'm not going to build this that tall just for, you know, quickness sake. is as high as I'm going to get, which should take up your entirety, the entirety of your 156. But now keep in mind, this can be as tall as you want it, just so long as the top two blocks are going to end up being where you're doing your, uh, your breakdown. Okay, so I'm stopping here. All right, now at this point, you are going to need to put so it doesn't matter which direction this goes, it's going to stop no matter what when it gets down here on the end. Uh, we're going to do a build up to this point. So you're going to put in a, an observer here facing toward this one, okay? Which means down here at the end, you're going to do the same. Wrong way. Or was it? Nope. That was the wrong way. Alright, so this way. You need this to be facing toward the machine. Which I did, didn't I? I did not. So you want it facing toward the machine and then put a block on the back. In this one's case, you're going to put in an extra two blocks. You can get a, get away with that right there. This is where you're going to need your redstone repeat. Your repeater is going to go toward the observer. And then you're going to put two ticks on it with redstone right behind it. Now, this one's case in particular, we're going to be putting in a button and a piece of redstone, or a redstone torch, all right? Because this one right here is going to be the one that, that sends the flying machine off, okay? Now, this is actually going to send the flying machine off, so we're not going to, I'm not going to place the trap door yet. We're going to come down here to the end, and we're going to finish building in this one here, because this one is, is a little less... Uh, this one's a little more, sorry, more straightforward. Redstone, repeater on top of the observer, facing in toward the machine, and then obviously I'm going to jump down and place a trapdoor on the edge of the repeater. Okay, so now when a block pops here, it should flap that. Okay, now don't forget to put in the two ticks on that repeater because you want it to hit and then send the the flap because 
if it sends the flap too soon, it won't. It, it literally won't flap, or it'll, it'll just stop the machine and it won't work. Now, I'm going to put in this trap door here on top of this observer. That will cause the machine to go. The machine should hit the end and then just come back. There we go. And then the machine should just stop when it gets down at the end. Oh, should have been an immovable block there. All right, so I screwed up here. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to add one more block of obsidian. Now to test this, we're going to send it on its way. There we go. So that's just a test to make sure that the flapper works. There we go. So it should just shoot down and then come back, shoot down and then come back. I guess down here at the end you could always put in another immovable block, which would take that instead of 62 up to a full 64 blocks which a whole stack is you know easy to understand so we'll just move that number from 62 to 64 there we go so all of that is done now it's time for water so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna type out water so I can get some water because I'm not going to need any more of this stuff. And kelp. Because we're going to need a lot of kelp. Alright, now we're going to come in here and we're going to plant a steady stream of water across here. Because we want it to be complete source blocks in here. I don't know why that's acting so dumb. Alright, these should all be source blocks. Alright, now that we have full source blocks down here at the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to plant our kelp. So, I always start like this for a specific reason and that is because I don't want this to turn into an issue for me because it will it always does when trying to fill this up now notice that we have this empty block here so we're not going to want a water source block here so we're not going to plant kelp one in we're going to can't we're going to we're going to start the first block past that and then we're going to fill this in with kelp Yes, I know that sounds a little strange, but you'll understand here in a minute. So let's just pop in here and put all this kelp in. Now, remember, do not plant kelp up here up against this wall. Because if you plant that kelp, and what's going to happen is when the kelp grows up into this block, that's going to turn the flowing water that's coming down into a source block, and it's going to push water out this direction. We don't want that. We do not want that. Because then it'll turn into a problem out here, and not to mention it'll start catching your kelp as it breaks, and all of that good stuff. Not a good thing. All right, so let's go ahead and start up here at the top. I don't remember if I should be putting in blocks and I yeah I think we should put in blocks because that'll make that'll guarantee that we don't have any trouble so you're gonna build a floor
make sure that you have two up top here. Now I typically use something easy to break like dirt because I'm going to be underwater when I break these loose. Now that that's done, this is where you would uh, swim down or whatever and start breaking these blocks out. So what that's going to do is cause flowing water all the way through. I apologize about all the boringness here. Um, usually most uh, YouTubers and whatnot do cut, cut screens or cut scenes at this point, but, you know, video editing is kind of a pain in the butt. So uh, I'm trying to make this easy, and since it's a small build, uh, I'm not actually going to worry about all of that. All right. Now that it's filling up, that kelp is going to grow all on its own. It's going to do its thing, and it will grow to this level right here. Okay, and then in that process, what it's going to do is turn all of it, all of this, into uh, into water source blocks. But I like to help it out just a little bit, so we're going to do this every two. Just to help this water source block stuff happen. Now, the entire thing is going to be water source blocks at this rate. There we go. And if it matters, you can always add another water source block here, and that'll turn everything at this level into a source block as well. It's kind of unnecessary, but you can, you can do that. All right. So at this point, this is normally where I'm going to run the machine and clear out the kelp to get it out of my way. Yeah, and don't worry about the floating kelp, because anything that's left down there on the bottom, literally the second kelp starts growing, it's going to start turning all of this into water source blocks, and then that, that kelp that's down on the bottom is going to float upwards. Okay? So that's not going to be an issue. Alright, at this point you're going to need a lot of signs. Now this always takes a lot of time. So what you're going to do is I always start at one of these sides, because, or you can start anywhere on here, but I would, typically it's easier to run this way to this direction. So place a sign, place a sign, place a sign, place a sign. You're going to do this all the way across.
you can skip through this if you like. I'd fast forward through this this part of the clip. This could take a few, like a minute or two. Which is the reason why I like the kelp to be out of my way. Alright, that's done. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to create a collection system. So this one is going to be pushing whatever to off to whatever side. So this is where I would typically put in like glass or uh, some ice or something. The higher you build, the better you're gonna be. It doesn't matter what kind of gla or what kind of ice you use here, so long as it's not standard ice. The best bet would be compressed ice because it's easier to get. All right. So what I'm going to do is glass, so that everybody can see what's going on here. And you can use any blocks that you'd like here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this. stuff here. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put <laughs> that there and that there so that I can find the center point of this, which is basically right here <laughs> which is telling me I pretty much made this even so that sort of sucks so I'm gonna put in a sign on the glass right there somewhere and then I'm gonna break that piece of, of um, ice out of there and then I'm going to put in a chest Actually, the easiest that I could explain it, and it's sh and it's one higher than either of these machines, so it's not going to interfere with the operation of it. And now we're going to put the glass around the edge. Typically, I build off of this side for the storage and draining of the uh, kelp farm because of uh, ease. So what we're going to do is, 
now I'm going to walk across here and I'm going to place my water source every every two blocks until I've got this completely filled up full of running water. As you can tell it's pushing it all the way to the edge. Typically it would push it all the way literally to the edge but because I needed to put this stream up one I, I used those to stop the water. So there you go. Collection is in. So now what we're going to do, this is also where I would typically put like an entrance into the farm is something like right here and then place a sign to stop the water from coming out because that is literally too low for the uh, slime block to grab it so you can actually get in here and this is where you're going to use the water around you and I'm just going to show you by just finding a bucket and I'm going to change my game mode To survival so that you can see me doing this in real time. Right. You just go to your bucket and you're going to grab one of these waters and put it here inside the signs. All right. You're going to go down every two and create water source blocks inside the signs. Okay. This is the easiest way I can think to explain this because, believe it or not, it's actually this easy. What that's going to do is cause channels to come through here. And fill it in. So now these are water source blocks, blocks here. Now, everything is going to float up through these but the kelp will stop at the signs. Okay. Alright. There you go. It's literally that simple. So what's going to happen is you're going to run this Anytime you see uh, the kelp get to a level that you want it ran, you can put that, but you can extend that all the way down here if you want so that you can see what's going on, push a button, and then it runs your, your machine. So let, let's actually do that. I'm going to do that. Because why not? We're going to need redstone, a repeater, a button some white terracotta should run it. So we're going to sit here. We're going to be staring at this. It's going to be all the way up to here. You click the button. It runs the machine. You're watching it. And it collects it all down there at the end. And as this kelp grows, it pushes that up. And it all gets collected down here. in your chest. Very simple farm. I hope that was explained well and I hope you appreciated it. Well I hope that tutorial was incredibly helpful for you. Um, we are going to cover more of this kind of stuff later in the future and um, if you liked this video please don't forget to click on that like button. I need to see some thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Not to mention to click uh, follow or subscribe and uh, that bell icon up in the top right hand corner of the uh, screen there that lets you know when uh, I upload new tutorials and or videos backups of my stream 
Otherwise, visit me over on twitch.tv backslash Archangel88201 for more streams. And I do that pretty much daily. So we have lots of fun on the Diggler's Place server. Come and check us out, guys. Hopefully this uh, video was fun and informative for you. And I hope to see you in the future. You guys have a great night, man. Bye.